Hey, Wendy. Hey, Carla. How are you this morning? I'm good. Thank you for joining me. I have to show you I'm drinking my coffee this morning out of my beautiful mug that you made me. Actually, you made this for my mother. And when she passed away, I took the mug and the cup. She loved it. So thank you. That's a, uh, a very nice uh, that goes beyond. So thank you very much. Yeah, no, I love that. I appreciate you joining me this morning. I'm super, super excited that you're uh, joining us inside of the Rise Sister membership on the 19th to talk about building apps. So before we jump into that, um, I'll just share with the folks that are listening in because this is live streaming on LinkedIn in our Sparkle and Rise Facebook group. So hello to all of our Rise Sisters. And then also inside the Rise Sister membership. So a couple of things, and I'll stick the links down in the comments. Uh, we do have the Sparkle and Rise community on Facebook for kind and ambitious women, and that is totally free. Anybody can come on in. We do all kinds of cool things. And then inside the membership for kind and ambitious female entrepreneurs, we do a expert hour every month where either one of our Rice sisters, which you are one of the members, will come in and share or we'll bring an expert from the community to help us on a topic around growing our businesses. So something that, you know, we are collectively struggling with or something that keeps coming up. So for this month in April, next two day the 19th you are gonna come talk to us about building apps which I am like insanely excited about um because it's like that you know that mystery thing do you know what I mean it's like whoa I don't even know how to build an app what building an app is about but it's just fascinating to me and I know you've built a couple so um oh and Stephanie Licata says good morning so hello Stephanie good morning um, do you mind sharing with me a little bit about your journey of learning how to build apps? Yes. Well, one morning I woke up like a lot of other people do. And I decided I, I'm going to build an app about <laughs> acts of kindness. This is before my feet actually hit the floor. I remember looking down and watching my feet hit the floor after I already thought that. So I thought to myself, what should I do? I have no idea how to create an app. So I went to my LinkedIn connections and Patrick Ward, who is the guy, uh, took my call. Uh, we had scheduled a little call and some text back and forth. And I asked probably the dumbest questions, <laughs> the dumbest beginner questions ever. But he was so kind and patient. And he asked me a lot of questions that I would like to ask um, on April 19th because at first I thought why is he asking that is he not being supportive or is he just like but now I get it I get it all um I'm not the I'm not the expert but I am happy happy to share everything that I've learned and maybe ask you some of the questions that Patrick asked me to help you get more prepared before you launch your app oh I love that you know and I have like like it makes my heart race to think about it right isn't that what it's like when we're doing new things and and by the way, for people that are watching, this is the first time I've used StreamYard on multiple platforms. I've never used it on LinkedIn. And right now we're streaming on three different platforms. And like, that was just terrifying me when we start. But seems like we're doing okay. Seems like it's, it's, it's. Yeah, if everybody could heart, if they uh, can <laughs> see us or hear us, that we know. Exactly. <laughs> then at least I'll know, okay, we're doing okay. Yeah. Um, but isn't that what it's like? It's like you get this idea of something you want to do. I know it was like that when I launched my business and it's terrifying. And then you take a couple steps in and you're like, okay, wait a minute. Maybe this is not, maybe I can actually do this. Right. Um, so it, I've had a few moments where I've thought, oh, that would make a cool app or maybe I could create a Rise Sisters app or, you know, and what would be in that? Like, what was the first thing when you thought about kindness that you thought would translate well to an app? Well, I was thinking about children and my children's books that talk about kindness and um, understanding people and situations and reactions and feelings. And when I was reading in schools, I read in um, I think hundreds of schools by now, um, either virtual or in person, we were taught, we would talk about after we read the story, we would talk about how can we be kind at school and 
they had to think about it. Okay, how can we be kind at school? And then we went on to how can we be kind at home? Can you raise your hand? And all kinds of wonderful ideas the children had about helping at home and being kind at home. And then the last section that we talked about is being kind to our planet. So that, that was probably the hardest one because they were really thinking and how can we be kind to our planet? Oh, recycling, composting, using less plastic. And they came up with all these things that I put into the app. So it's, it was really fun. I didn't plan on that the way it happened, that happened that way, but it worked out. So <laughs> that is so cool. I, um, I mean, I know the things that stop me and one of the things that I, and I've shared this with you before that I just adore about you is that you just jump into things. I mean, I, I listen to you and I'm just odd. You know, you're an author, you're a dancer, you've created an app, you've got, um, your your pottery, which like you just woke up one day and decided, huh, I think I can do that. And now you're making these amazing mugs, right? What is the one thing when you thought about building an app that really like held you back? Like, is there one thing that made you go, e I don't know if I can do this or no, or you just always jump in and I can figure it out? Uh, how much money does it cost? Okay, yeah. Like, what, are the what are the actual costs involved? And... um I, I guess I didn't care. I mean, I, I knew it was probably going to happen in the best way that I could, but I do a lot, I do a lot of research, but I don't get stuck in the research. I just want to keep moving forward because then if you get stuck in the research, then you get scared and then you think, Oh, what are people going to think? And then you don't worry about what anybody thinks. You just think about your idea and what, what you'd like to do. Of course you have to do your market research, but like, I'm not going to worry about if people are judging me about an app because I'm, I felt like if I could just have one child do one more act of kindness than they normally would a day, I mean, just think of how that could spread. Pay, you know, uh, people just waving at somebody on the bus when they normally wouldn't have that needed it that day. So that was my, you know, that was my why I wanted to do it. And I, you, you just have to stick to um, believing in yourself. Yeah, I love that. And I think, too, when we and it's easy to get lost in our mission, right? Like, you know, you get busy yeah, you're doing the things true. and you're going. But when you take a step back and you say, oh, wait a minute, you know, my mission is way bigger than being afraid of like this little app. I, I can do this. <laughs> exactly. Can do that. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you feel like, yeah, I've got this. So I and know. We're gonna, oh, go ahead. I was just saying when, when you when you are in a group like Rise Sisters with your sparkle and rise, you, you can put, you, you can trust the people to put your thoughts out there and you will get, you will get feedback and you'll get good feedback and you'll get questions that you never thought of. And you're like, Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I probably have to research about that. And sometimes when you hear the word kind, you think, um, they're, these are women who maybe are stepped all over. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> in the know, who are ambitious, who actually get things done, but will help you. And they don't, they're not scared to share their secrets. They're not, they're not holding their secrets over here. They're sharing them to all their other sisters. So that's what I love about your community. Ah, thank you so one much. Is a, one of the things. Many <laughs> things about your community. You know, and that's, um, we were joking on a call last night. So I was on a, um, inside the membership, I was on a, um, a co-working call. So, you know, we do those Thursday mornings and Thursday yeah. nights. And we were joking on the call because I was telling him about a huge mistake that I had made that day. <laughs> and we were just laughing and we said, I, maybe I should change like the, the name from, you know, Rice Sister membership to the Come Make Mistakes With Us membership. Because, <laughs> you know, you're right. we really do like get in there and go, oh my gosh, I totally screwed this up today. Um, but there's a lot of power in that too right because then you also yes. have people that can help you figure out how to fix that or just at least go you know what you're okay you're not alone I have screwed some stuff up today too well you know I love to make mistakes yes I do you turn, you turn them into your best ideas so I know it's, you're, you're starting to speak mistake. on that too which is super cool yes with your help thank you <laughs> <laughs> and it's true you can take those mistakes and turn them into magic so many times 
Um, yeah. Jody says hi, by the way. Hey, Jody. Jody. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing, and I know we're going to really dig into this. So for those of you who really want to learn about building apps, Wendy's going to do inside of the Rice Sister membership on the 19th. And I wrote it down because I always mess up times. So Mountain Standard Time or Arizona Time at 7 a.m. It's 10 a.m. Eastern. So that's next Tuesday. She's mm -hmm. going to do a whole expert hour on building apps, answering your questions, talking about, you know, her path to creating successful apps and the yeah. pitfalls to kind of stay away from. Yeah. Um, you do have to be a member to, to come in and join us for that. And... Uh, when you sign up, you get a two week free trial. So if anybody who's not a member is interested in listening in right now, the doors are closed. They open in June, but I don't want you to miss out on this. So just direct message me and I'll send you the link. You can sign up. You can do your two weeks free. Listen to Wendy. And then if you want to stay with us, we would love to have you stay. Um, so, Wendy, before we wrap up the call, would you mind sharing one of the tips that you're going to share with us in the Build the App Expert Hour next Tuesday? Well, I wrote down the, some of the questions that I'd like to answer. So I'm going to go through. Um, there's just three that I just like, oh, I have to think. I have to talk about that one. So one big question is. If you're thinking about building your app or you're in the process of building your app, have you even thought about planning for security of the app? So if you're collecting data, other people's data, you're responsible for it. So that's, wow. that's a big question we're going to talk about. And then how much research have you done on this kind of app before? Everybody gets excited. and They're like, this is an original idea. And they get excited. But sometimes we'll talk about we'll talk about how close we can get or don't realize and then what we what, how we can twist things to, to to make it better and then who really owns your app that's hmm. a big question depending on where you get it built how you get it built it might you might think it's your app but it might not really belong to you so we're gonna oh. we'll just really discuss that one too yeah that one sounds scary to me well, well, it's not if you're if you know if you know going in and you're educated on it, then we don't have to be scared about it. We'll know we'll know what to do. So yeah. if you are doing the kind, if you're getting your app built by somebody who's going to have you pay each month, then it you don't really own it. You're kind of leasing it. To oh, me. so that's so a leave. You don't like if I say, okay, Sally Sue, I'm I'm not going to pay for the service anymore. Poof, my app's gone. Yeah, you don't have access to your own app anymore. And maybe okay. they'll just take it and turn it into some, you know, put a different name on it. I mean, you don't know. You have to read your contracts and you have to stay away from those possibilities unless you don't care. If you're like, I just want to launch an app because I'm using it for marketing purposes. And um, it's okay if it's only out there for a year or two then go for go for that. But if you want to own it and actually say that you are the creator and such, you have to stay away from certain kinds of templates and certain kinds of um, development. Wow. This is so, exciting. I've already learned some new things about building apps just in our short call. <laughs> but I'll have so many more uh, tidbits to share and then yeah, based on my experience, I can't wait to see what the Rise Sisters or uh, the Visiting Sisters have for me on April 19th. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I am. Uh, my brain has already been spinning ever since you said that, you know, you would come in and do this for us. Like, what could I build for an app? This could be fun. It can be. It can be fun to explore different ideas. And, um, you know, maybe maybe you'll have an app, Carla, after that. Who knows? <laughs> I just might. We'll just have to see. Two all apps. <laughs> two <laughs> apps <too. laughs> well, Wendy, I appreciate you jumping on the call. I'm super excited for next Tuesday. I know I'm going to learn a lot. I know our Rise Sisters will learn a lot. If uh, those that are listening are not part of the Rise Sister membership, uh, I'll, again, I'm going to stick the link down in the comments so that you can get in and register for the wait list when the door opens. If you want in now so that you can come in and learn from Wendy, just direct message me on any of the platforms and I'll shoot you a special link so that you can come in and join us. So in on LinkedIn, you can find me Wendy Gilhula. If you have some uh, question that you might, um, 
see if I have any knowledge about, you can DM me and or on Instagram on Pika Bunny Says. You can just DM ahead of time, and I'll I'll see if I can get to that question during the during the show. Yay! Hey, Wendy. Thank I appreciate you. you jumping on, and uh, thank you to everyone watching in because uh, I think this was a pretty successful test of StreamYard. What do you think? As long as people can hear us, yes, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. We, we got a couple out. people on, so I think they'd be saying, "Hey, I can't hear you." So, oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, Wendy, um, have a lovely day, and thank you for joining in on this sneak preview of our expert hour all around building apps. See you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>